Robotics are reshaping industries. From working as a nurse in hospitals to delivering food and goods to far-flung areas, we've seen them do it all, with varying degrees of success. Next up, we show you how robots are now providing shuttle services in California. No steering wheel, no pedals, no driver either. This is Amazon.com's autonomous driving unit, or you can call it a robo-taxi. The company is now testing it on roads with employees as its passengers. The robo-taxi is also being used as a shuttle service for employees. But is it commercially viable? Currently, the robo-taxi can operate only on certain public roads in California. It ferries employees on a one-mile route connecting two office buildings in Foster City, California. The vehicle runs at a speed of 35 miles per hour. It has bi-directional driving capabilities, hence there is no need to reverse. It is also completely electric about a normal vehicle on the road, one that you or I drive, some of them do have four-wheel steering. We'd have a really hard time if we added a second steering wheel to steer the rear axle. But for an autonomous vehicle, it actually makes it easier. We can give the computer full control of each axle and then have both axles steer as much as they want completely independently. That allows the computer to be more maneuverable with the robot at low speeds. It improves the stability at high speeds, and then it actually improves the precision across all speeds of how tightly we can follow the sorts of motions that we want the vehicle to follow. This Amazon-owned self-driving unit is developed by Zooks, which was acquired by the big tech giant for a whopping $1.3 billion in 2020. With backing from Amazon, Zooks became the first self-certified company to declare a fully autonomous electric vehicle. The company is currently conducting tests on California streets with licenses from the Department of Motor Vehicles. Zooks faces stiff competition from General Motors' Cruise and Alphabet's Waymo, which has also received approvals to roll out their driverless vehicles. These autonomously running vehicles are not fully human monitored. However, they carry a fusion module. Human interference comes in wherever they are required to perform tasks that are not registered on its system. In unforeseen situations, a proper guidance monitoring system comes into play. Otherwise, the robotaxi runs on its own. Zooks plans to put the robot taxis for commercial use. But how soon will the public get to experience the robo-magic? It's hard to say. So far, the company has been prudent while forecasting its growth, but it says it intends to grow its employee count to 2,500 at a time when major tech companies are struggling with layoffs and massive cost cuttings.